Okay, so let's talk about issues with the SEIS. The first challenge we have with the SEIS, it basically uses 11-year-old data. Even though best available scientific data tells us that one ton of methane now equals 32 tons of carbon dioxide. This potency is averaged over a 100-year time frame. 100 years isn't good enough, right? Because they recognize that they need to start thinking shorter term, there's a 20-year number that people are starting to use as well. And so now when we think of a, a one ton of methane over 20 years, so it's 96 times as potent in the short term. So here's another big issue. Right now the SEIS basically claims that in order for this project to be cleaner, they need to use fracked gas that comes from British Columbia. The claim is in the document that the, the BC uh, numbers are much lower in terms of how much they leak. So issue number three is that the leakage rates really need to be revised. They need to be reanalyzed and re revised, most likely revised significantly upwards. You know, the source of the gas is all from BC is a, is a faulty assumption. We think they actually, they need to assume that some of the gas is gonna come from the US and then work those emissions into the, the calculation as well. We actually think that they need to provide an analysis where they only do analysis over who are the secured customers to date. And it should only include tote maritime. It should include this other LNG, potential LNG transportation users, or any of the trucking uh, users either. Another interesting one is, so these wells from in Canada are all fracked wells. The challenge is, is that when they did their analysis, they did not assume or incorporate the emissions coming from all of the diesel trucks that would have to be hauling the sand and the water to the, to the well sites. And it's a lot of sand. Another big issue is that the tote ship, when it converts over, it'll burn LNG. LNG is basically methane. But the challenge is that not all the methane actually gets burned. That's called methane slippage. And as far as we can tell, they didn't include that. The final thing is there are just at least a dozen places in the report proper where it just claims that they're missing data. So the final claim here is that they need to provide a new, a basically a new completed SEIS, and then we need a new full comment period to, to analyze it and, and provide review towards it. <laughs>